McAllen Double Oak 12 year old. You say by that, request again. You say that you say that like I should be just just just, just on pins and needles with excitement. Yeah. Well, did, all right, don't even watch the video. Go away. William Wall asked if we would try some more McAllen's. Fine. <laughs> All right. The things we do. Now McAllen's you people does a really great job of branding and tasting events. Tremendous sacrifice here. Yeah. Uh, you can probably, if you live in a big city, you can find uh, my pelt. Wait, I'm trying to make it long, so that you could. You don't have anything long. No. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor <laughs> here, buddy. Look at that. That's Look at nice, what I did for that's you. That's a nice pelt. Look at what I did for you. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, McAllen M. It's hard to talk about McAllen, but uh, this is a unique one. Why is it hard to talk about? Uh, because everybody has talked about McAllen to death. No, 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 here's the There's thing. There's nothing new to say. I have... Yeah, I don't care. I haven't heard anything that anybody said about this. Okay, so McAllen is just a classic I, Highland I am a clean slate. I'm a clean slate. And I'm going to address, uh, is it Triple Cap that said there's no such thing as space side? I mean, not, he didn't say that. Triple Cap. I'm misquoting him. You are. I'm going to help you out, Triple Cap. This yeah. guy, he's just he's not looking out for your best interest. <laughs> no, I'm really not. I, I got you. Triple Cap, repeat after me. The space side Highland distinction is iffy at best. Probably complete bullshit. He said BS, but I'm saltier than he is. Glenn Livet so and Glenn Farkless are both space sides, but really, who the hell cares if they are a Highland or a space side? A lot of space sides, like Farkless, say Highland on the label, but they are right in the middle of the space side. Uh, and keeping extra quartz, uh, corks is a top tip, Daniel. Okay, everything he said, I agree with. Um, however, I would add to it that uh, stereotypes, while often wrong in real life, exist for a reason. So they're based on something, but they're too widely applied. Yes. Okay. So, yes, he's right. The idea that, that space side is its own animal, and then there's like a Chinese wall, and then there's Highland, and they taste totally different. That's bullshit. Um, space side is inside Highland the way that Texas is inside the U.S. We've talked about that. However, I think if you view it more as a color spectrum, then you're more accurate. So if red is our color and blue is a totally different color, there's all these variances, and the space side exists in the category of reds and things around the reds. Now, on the edges of it, some of those reds get closer to a different color completely, but they're still in the family. You got orange, yellow, yeah, green. Right? Yeah, right? And so, if you feel, and there may be one that's pure red, and I would think that that would be like, like Glenroth's, or something like that, right? Just super trademark butterscotch space side. Now, McAllen is really close. It's a uh, peatier than some, but it's pretty candy. This is this caramel. one is a lot more. Well, that's the that's the space side trademark, which yeah. is caramel and butterscotch in the nose. Now I haven't ever tried this one, but I will tell you that double oak so, is what they did with double oak was they took well it says double cask. Yeah, double cask. So, um, but they're both oak. So they took European oak, which is what they usually use, right? And then they bought some first. Fill American barrels, American oak barrels, mm -hmm. filled it with their own sherry, then emptied it and put their whiskey in it, and then they mixed those together. Why do I so often hear sherry being used in the process? But of traditionally, it has the most nuanced effect on whiskey without overpowering it. Okay. That's why. Why do I so often hear about Macallan? Because there's a lot of McAllen. Some are like, you, you, you say that... They're, they're amazing at branding. Well, you say the, the bottle in hushed tones. Yeah. Right? Because it's like, oh, so McAllen. rare and so expensive. Yeah. And then something like this. Honestly, I'm smelling this. And it feels very middle of the road. It is very middle nice, of the road. Very nice. But it's the caramel and the butterscotch. And if I didn't see any labeling, I was like, oh, that's perfectly lovely uh, space. They up. became famous for two reasons. One, they have an amazing marketing department. Okay. Amazing. They do great community events. They do tastings everywhere. They're just, they're everywhere. Uh, and two, they're so mild and friendly and approachable that it's easy for someone to fall in love with McAllen. Doesn't take a lot of work, not a lot of effort. That's just a nice blanket. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a comfortable, nice blanket. Unfolds into some apple. There's a little spikiness in the back end, but um, it's not that dramatic. I would call it a lively apple. I'm not getting um, bite, like you may be, but I'm getting some... Um, some lingering fruit there. Everything else, 
butterscotch, caramel. Yeah, fig. They say fig, walnut, walnut. Jam. Yeah, I could I could be convinced of fig. I'm gonna go hunting for the walnut here. It's the waxy, the waxy taste that lingers on the tongue. Yeah, it's perfectly nice. Um, this bottle, how much is this? Ooh, range. 40, 50. Okay. Mainly because it's called McAllen. It's like buying Levi's jeans. Yeah. You'll pay for the name Levi's even if the quality of jean material is not as good as something else you could get. See, I've heard of... Now, they're fantastic still. No, they're, they're but great. But they're right. super accessible. They're not speaking our language of the... Uh, like Talisker does. Right. Talisker is our love language. It's not a swinging cod. It's not not like the George Stagg Jr. God, we keep coming back to that one. It'll kill you three ways. They're never going to give me whiskey. <laughs> is that the goal here? Yeah. To say I've, of and course it is. Whatever, things. Mooch. Come on. <laughs> I don't you need, ask? I don't need another whiskey source. I have you. Yeah. And now i, I got to keep my. I got to keep you in whiskey. <laughs> this is hard to get. It's, wait, like wait, I'm wait. A, it's like I'm in a trophy wife who always goes shopping. She's completely changing the dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> I love every whiskey I've ever had here. <laughs> and I endorse it with my... No, yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> Yeah. No, this, um, Someone wanted us to do a review of Whiskey We Hated, and I said that was a bad idea. I think uh, they're probably charging $10 more because it has the label. Mm -hmm. I've tasted things that are a bit less expensive that are just as enjoyable. I agree. Yeah. And um, we, may, we may get death threats from the McAllen lovers out there. <laughs> but this particular bottle, no, I've had some McAllens that are truly uh, nuanced and exceptional and fantastic. This is like a nice... Really pleasant, mm. middle of the road. You know why? Because neither of us really love sherry aged whiskeys. Do we not? And McAllen is the trademark sherry aged scotch. Okay. I mean, just that's their home turf. You're playing on home turf. See, when you sherry the aged. perspectives Daniel and I bring could not be more different. He actually does like the research and the background and the history. <laughs> I show up. Take drink off it. my take off my shoes so he doesn't appear so short. <laughs> and I drink it. And I, I, stand and I on give clogs. you and I give you my three bit opinion. It's more than a two bit opinion at this point. Let's be honest here. It's three bits. We're over a hundred videos in. It's three bits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting context. Mm. You know they're getting to watch you grow, Rex. <laughs> as a person. Yeah, as a person. Emotionally, I'm. You're just... gonna have an, a character arc as we go through. That ends in my death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it ends with a, a memorial situation. <laughs> I don't like where this episode's going. <laughs> First you're a trophy wife, now you're dying. <laughs> and um, a bit of diluted honey. Not strong, punchy, thick honey. Yeah. Okay, find us a comment while I find us a different McAllen. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that one. Okay, well, I'm going to do a long one here. Because oh, wait, we have a triple cask. 15-year-old McAllen we could try. Yes. We shall. <laughs> so I have a mouthful of whiskey right now. If you let it sit. If you let it sit and you got a big mouthful of the stuff. Um, it gets punchy. It gets punchy, and I'm finding some more depth in the flavors there. Mm. This is what you do with McAllen 12. Chug it. <laughs> as hard as you can. <laughs> Big Chug, mouthfuls. Train, train, train. Uh, Mel's beer Vinaldi. So first of all, I freaking love your videos, and after seeing you on the Modern Rogue, I have since been watching nearly every single video of the Whiskey Bowl yeah. the past two to three weeks. Well done, you. I'm so sorry. Your life has took a tragic turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can finally tell the difference between different whiskeys, and I'm very happy about that. So after watching maybe half the series, I decided I want to buy. Shame on you. Yeah. Buy, buy. a bottle myself. Buy. <laughs> Who no, does that? He's gonna buy a bottle himself, knowing that I quite like uh, the Petey whiskeys. Mm -hmm. So I got a chance to try a few times, a few of them by now. He went with Lafroy Triple Wood, and yes. he loved it. Ooh. Well done, sir. A man among men. Yeah. My question is, what would you recommend as the next budget gateways for a wow, beginner? Wow, Lafroy because Triple Cask is not budget. Uh, well, maybe it is where he is. Well, maybe he just has budget left. What did he, did he have any comments on what he might want to try? Uh, my thoughts were maybe Green Spot and McKenna. Oh, those are both amazing. Oh, he was in Germany. The, the Green Spot. I responded to him. Green Spot isn't cheap here. Mm mm. Oh. Well, he said in the latter, so that would have been McKenna. The, wasn't cheap. Okay. So I think his McKenna was a $50, and for us it's 20 And yeah, that's a big fing difference. But, you know, it is bourbon, so it's local for us. Also, a comparison and definition of the classic Isla Highland 
island, and so it'd be interesting for me to give it a keep. Mm. Great work, yeah, you're okay. amazing. Rex is the most beautiful man I've ever seen yeah. in my life. How come every comment seems to end that way? The people have spoken. The people have spoken. Yes. There is a consensus. <laughs> Make the whiskey vault great again. <laughs> if I can't get political, <laughs> neither can you. Damn it. And you know what? Uh, He's not going to get censored. He no. won't get censored. Nope. So, here, 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 let me tell you this. No matter what your political leaning, <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Especially if you're sending me whiskey. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so... You're uh, right. So... <laughs> Man, McKenna costing 60 bucks, that's expensive. And uh, it's good, but it's not 60 bucks good. Now, what, um, what interests me is that he's looking for something, what is this, PD? Is it right? Well, no, he liked PD, but he he's also PD. looking for entries in other categories, Irish, okay, bourbon, okay. and so on, right? Yeah, yeah. So for Irish, man, just find a pot still. Find any pot still Irish whiskey. And make sure it says... Single pot still or Where, pot still is Irish that whiskey. Usually on the back. Where is it? Uh, it's on the. It could be on the front. It could be. Uh huh. It could be. Uh, okay. So see, red breast says single pot still on the front. Yeah. It'll say it somewhere on the front label. That's just any pot still is a great classic why, Irish whiskey. Why are you recommending pot still? Because that is the traditional way that Irish whiskey was made for a hundred years before they started adding grain whiskey into it. And ended up with the bargain Bushmills, the bargain Kilbegan. The Bargain, Jameson, okay. right, things like that. So you get to taste like the original Irish whiskey styles. Um, and then I would say with bourbon, man, I don't know. Start with Bullet. Uh, I would bet Bullet has distribution good enough that you can get Bullet reasonably cheap in Germany. Yeah. And here's the thing. it's it's Bullet is not a, uh, a watered-down weak whiskey. No, it's a damn good bourbon. And it's surprisingly smooth, but also it's big enough flavors that it'll stand up to ice if you want I'm something. I'm looking back to see if there's anything else in there that stands out as uh, well, While you do that... You can get Evan Williams. That's a good one. Cameron Mounts regarding breakfast whiskey. Because no. yesterday we were shooting at... No, no, no. 9.30. Yeah. All right. For a spring break in college my senior year, I went to Scotland by myself and stayed in youth hostels in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Well played. I had whiskey at breakfast. Lunch. Wow, you picked dinner. Two really different towns. And dessert for almost a whole week. You picked Glasgow, which is traditionally feels like a known as a pretty rough town. You know what that's and called? And Edinburgh, which is traditionally a pretty refined town. It's called living the dream. <laughs> living the dream, baby. <laughs> Whiskey all the time. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Mm. It's like heaven, really. It's like heaven. Yeah, that's what they tell me. People that have been to heaven and back. Yeah, that's what my book's gonna be about. Not, there and back again. Not your ventures with the dragon. No, 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 no. I already wrote that book. Slaying orcs. Yeah, that's that's old, old news. <laughs> so, uh, what's his name? Wanted to know the um, obvious regions of like, hey, what's the most quintessential Highland? What's the most quintessential Isla? And the answer to that is, there's no such thing, man. Well, I'm sorry. Well, but can here's the thing. But can it be? And we don't have to do it for this episode. Mm -hmm. But quintessential. Can it be narrowed down to like these? Five or six. Yeah, well, if we pick five or six, but any list we come up with is going to start a fight in the comments. I. Why is that a bad thing for you? No, it's not. I couldn't care less. You guys fight. All right, done. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let's do it now. So Highland, Dalmore, mm. uh, Oven fourteen, mm. uh, Glenlivet, just because it's a classic, even though it's sort of in the space side. Yeah. Um, so far, I'm very proud that I've recognized all these names, and, and I like all of them. Uh, Glen Fittick is great. Yeah. Um, let's just stick with those for now. Okay. Uh, Isla, I would say Lafroig, absolutely. Um, next, I would say Ardbeg. Yeah. And Lagavulin. Yeah. And uh, there's only eight distilleries, so we really could just drink all of them. <laughs> right. Uh, and there's no. Those are the quintessential islands. The quintessential islands are all, all eight. eight distilleries. <laughs> and uh, islands, every single island tastes different, so there's no such thing. Talisker tastes, tastes nothing like Aaron, tastes nothing like Highland Park, which is an Orkney, or Scapa, which tastes nothing like Highland Park, even though they're right next to each other. And uh, it tastes nothing like Jura, right? They're all totally different. So there's no easy out. Hmm. So, so far, that actually was surprisingly helpful. I think our, our community is too... Uh, Let's call it mature to fight over that. You know what's interesting? What I try, I'm kind of excited about? Yeah. 100, over 100 videos. No real assholes in the comments yet. No. Yeah. No, we got good people. Well done, you guys. Yeah.
Well done. You make this enjoyable. Otherwise, suffering through all these whiskeys. I don't know what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> yeah. All right. all right. Well, till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side of legal. May you return before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.